know, it's Friday, am I right? I woke up in such a good mood this morning, uh, which is pretty rare uh, that I wake up in a good mood or in the morning. Uh, but uh, I accidentally fell asleep last night with my MP3 player on. Has anybody done that? Let their headphones on or their earbuds in? I did that last night and it turned itself off in the middle of the night. But at some point this morning, I must have just rolled over and my man boob turned it back on. Uh, and uh, Friday, my Rebecca Black was playing. <laughs> and it was blaring. It's like, Friday, Friday. And I just you know, sprung out of bed. I was like, oh my God, I love this song. Thank God I'm gay. Like, I'm just like, yeah, Friday. You know? <laughs> So that was my morning. Uh, I'm super gay and stuff. I love penis a lot. Anybody? <laughs> Ladies, thank you. Uh, you were quick. A family feud. Ba bang. <laughs> Only one answer on the board. Penis. <laughs> love penis so much. If I could, I'd wear it as a hat. <laughs> Top of the morning, too. Good morning. <laughs> I had awesome parents growing up, actually. Uh, I have a very distinct memory of when I was six years old and my parents were just looking down at me, smiling, and they're like, Bill, you can be anything you want to be. Uh, this is America. You have a unique spirit, a creative soul, and, and the whole world is in front of you. And what I realize now that I'm older is that my parents were really trying to tell me, Bill, uh, we think you're gay. Uh, <laughs> But we can't tell you that, because you're six, so we're just going to tell you you're unique. Uh, unique was used a lot in my house, actually. Oh, look at Bill. Look how unique he's trying on all of Mom's clothes. <laughs> they were pretty shocked, actually, when I finally came out to them when I was like 22. Uh, but it turns out they weren't shocked that I was gay. They were shocked because they could have sworn I'd already told them. Uh, <laughs> wait, but you're more gay? How does that work? Uh, is there a card for this? We don't, I don't know what to do. It's tough being gay, man. People expect a lot from you when you're gay. Like, they just expect me to be super witty on the spot. Those, those phrases take time. Like, I, I, I will be at home writing things down. I'm like, oh, God, I gotta come up with something for that party tomorrow. <laughs> but just in the middle of the night, just be like, oh, show me your passport, because I can't believe you just went there. Like, oh, it's a win. <laughs> oh, my God. I really don't. Like, unless you got a girlfriend or something and a, and a really good internet connection, you gotta go to strip clubs. And I heard that, I, I have never been to one, I heard that if you go to an all nude strip club, uh, there's no drinking. Alcohol. There's none. It can't be served. I'm like, yeah, I'm out. I, uh, if I'm gonna look at a pool, I gotta be drunk. You know? Can't be just staring at boobies like, oh, the crayon apple? <laughs> I wore my skinny jeans for you guys tonight. Uh, yeah, for that. I do consider myself, my, uh, myself a hipster. Because uh, just like a hipster, my pants are really tight. Uh, but only from like here to here. I don't know if you can see that over there. Here to here. Yeah, I'm getting old. Uh, <laughs> I was listening to the oldies station the other day, and uh, Me So Horny came on. You guys remember that song? Before I could even think, like, what is Two Live Crew doing on the oldies station? First thing out of my mouth was, oh, this really takes me back. Oh, I am so horny. A bunch of my friends went up to Michigan for New Year's. They were trying to get me to go. I was like, yeah, no, I'm not going. Uh, number one, it's a shithole. Uh, number two, I had just seen that ad for uh, that Tim Allen does that uh, your vacation starts at Michigan.org. I was like, if you're going to Michigan, your vacation starts at Greyhound.com. <laughs> Speaking of Tim 
talent. I uh, I never get to see movies in theaters because I'm always doing comedy and stuff. So uh, I love the Netflix, uh, which you know I'm old because I'm putting the in front of technology all the time. What do you have the Netflix? I have the Netflix. You get on the Facebook. And, uh, but I finally got to see uh, Toy Story 3. I haven't seen it. Oh my God. How many people have seen this movie? Yeah. It's a fabulous movie. Oh, it made me cry like a little girl. Unbelievable. I don't want to ruin it for you if you're Amish and haven't seen it, but uh, <laughs> the kid from the first two movies, he's all grown up. He's like 17 years old now. You see him there working on his laptop computer in his room by himself. And all of his toys are all sad now because he won't play with them anymore. And all I kept thinking was how many times has his toys watched him jerk off? Uh, <laughs> it's a 17 year old kid in his own room, his own laptop. <laughs> hey, if I'm one of his toys, I'm like, yeah, dude, don't touch me. Uh, I've seen what you've been doing. So obviously your new favorite toy is the sock. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Woody, you've been replaced by Woody. <laughs> That's nice. I know what everybody, I do, I love comedy. I love watching comedy TV shows. I love watching comedy movies. My new favorite comedy TV show, uh, The Republican Debates. Anybody seen this thing? Yeah. Just got picked up for a second season. Uh, I don't know if Crazy cast of characters. Uh, actually, my favorite character, they just kicked off the show, Michelle Bachman. Yeah. Voted yeah. off of uh, Misfit Island. Uh, I, loved, I love watching her. She's hysterical. Uh, the new Lucy, they say. Uh, she, she was on one of the debates, and they asked all the contestants, I guess is what you call them. Uh, they're like, if you won the presidency, and then I had to pause it because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> Like, if you won the presidency, what things would you take with you to the White House? And uh, Michelle chimes in. She's like, oh, I would take three things. Uh, a copy of the U.S. Constitution, a copy of the Declaration of Independence, and a copy of the Bill of Rights. Uh, and I was like, Michelle, uh, they have the real thing there. Uh, no need to bring your own copy. Uh, they have the original. Uh, you can touch them. I wish you didn't, but... Uh, they, uh, also, those three things you mentioned, uh, actually two things. Yeah. First ten amendments to use Constitution of the Bill of Rights. You're disqualified. Uh, here's the home game. Go home and play with your gay husband. Uh, I'm still pissed we're not still talking about Wienergate. Why have we stopped talking about Wienergate? This is my favorite thing ever. You guys remember Wienergate? Anthony Wiener took his uh, picture with PP, put it up on the Twitter. Uh, I'm sorry, the Twitter. Who saw the picture, by the way? Yeah. Round of applause. One of you, two of you? I couldn't stop looking at it. It was amazing. And I was like, well done, sir. You can't have a name like Mr. Wiener without, hello, Mr. Wiener. This thing was huge. Well done. It's my wallpaper at home. Not on my computer. I printed it out a hundred times. There, 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 upside down. And it convinced me that uh, politicians want me to vote for you, you gotta show me your pee pee. That's all we do. Sorry, candidate, if you want your polls to rise, my polls gotta rise. And I wish I decided this before I voted for Obama, because like, fuck the birth certificate, I wanna see that girth certificate, okay? <laughs> 